every so often, like every couple months or so, I will take a little tiny break from YouTube, just take a vacation or something, and I'll go somewhere and have fun, come back and get back to work. Recently, I did that. I took a vacation. I took a little trip to Texas and then to New York in the beginning of July. Um, and then when I got back, I noticed that even though I took that break, I was still very, very tired and I needed to kind of give myself time to recoup. So I did that. And then trying to get back on track, get back on schedule was a struggle. I kept just feeling like I really need to just take a really good cleanse from YouTube, from working and like refocus myself. But I was kind of ignoring the feelings that I was having because I don't know, I just felt like I was okay. And I'm like, okay, I'm okay. I can do this. I'm fine. Psh. I got this. Unfortunate event after unfortunate event kept happening when it came to, to filming and working and editing and all that stuff. It just, everything was just falling apart. And then I broke my camera. One of my videos got deleted from YouTube. If you guys don't know, um, my Kylie Jenner video got taken down. Just like random little things that were just really, really frustrating kept happening. And so I was like, okay, this is a sign. I need to take a break. I went ahead and took a two week hiatus from YouTube, which isn't a long time, but I, I apologize, but I don't because I need the time to take to myself. I don't know, I, maybe I'll talk about it in a Vicky Vibes video, but I really wasn't taking care of myself. My focus was off mentally, physically, spiritually. I was just, I wasn't focused. So I hope that you guys don't mind that I took that time away. And if you do mind, too bad because I was gone, but I'm back now. And I didn't do a monthly favorites for July, so I'm going to be doing that now. Technically, this is kind of like a current favorites, but these aren't all of my current favorites. And I'm sad because I don't want to mention all of my current favorites because I feel like then I won't have anything to mention for my August favorites. So I'm gonna hold some stuff that I just recently got like a week ago for my August favorites. And then the rest is from like July and like the very, very beginning of August, but mostly July. First, I want to talk about these LA Girl products. And this is the HD Setting Spray Long Lasting Matte Finish Setting Spray. Very good setting spray for it to be like a cheap drugstore um, product. It's actually a really good setting spray. And I think I may go ahead and try and find a bigger one. Use it to set my face after I finish my makeup. And what I really like about it is that once it sets your makeup, your makeup doesn't go anywhere. Like it doesn't move and it stays matte. It doesn't make you dewy. So um, I like this stuff. A Pro Prep HD Smoothing Face Primer. And this is by LA Girl as well. This is a really good primer and I've really been feeling it. It's very, very smooth. Um, and it reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. It has that like silicone consistency. It really helps to smooth out the skin and basically make your pores invisible. So if you do have rough patches or um, you have issues with uneven skin texture, this is good for that. Clear Start Dermalogica um, Moisturizer and it's oil controlling it's supposed to be oil controlling but what i like is that it is an spf so it has spf 15 in it so it protects you from the sun and if you guys ever use an spf on your face sometimes it like makes you feel like greasy almost and the smell is like really obnoxious but this one doesn't smell obnoxious and it doesn't make me slick so I've been liking it and I've been using it when I go, when I know I'm gonna be going outside, spending a lot of time in the sun. If you are exposing your skin to the harsh UV rays, you are further damaging your skin. So if you have dark spots, pigmentation, anything like that, um, hyperpigmentation or anything like that, you will experience those spots getting darker. Um, because your sun, the sun exposure of course is going to make your skin darker, but it's going to make those dark spots even more dark than they already are, so that's not good. You want to protect your skin from the sun, I don't care how dark skinned you are, you still need sun protection, okay? Makeup. I have two foundations here. First one is, I'm so excited to talk about this guys, I've been trying to hold back and not talk about it so I can talk about it in this video. Um, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and it's really sad because I was actually invited to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD launch party, which was in LA. And you guys, let me just tell you, I don't live in LA, so I can't go to the events that they have that I get invited to, which is really sad because, I mean, it makes you feel cool when you get invited to stuff like that, you know? And it, the fact that I can't go, it's kind of depressing. But JLo was able to go to the the party and that makes me happy because at least somebody I know got to go. And if you guys want me to do a review, a full review on this, so I can talk about like everything about it. I can, 
um, because there's a lot of information that goes with this foundation but basically it's a really great foundation for filming for pho photography and things like that because it literally looks like skin and it's very 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 good quality foundation like it doesn't look like anything on your face which is amazing but it also smooths out your skin it covers blemishes it covers dark spots it covers all, it covers all those things but it, it looks virtually invisible but they have like 10 more shades than the original so um the original makeup forever hd and one thing i didn't like about the makeup forever hd foundation was that they didn't really have a a spot on color for me this is a really great match for me this is y455 which is a shade darker than 445 which is equivalent to 173 a little bit darker than 173 but i'm lighter than 177 so i needed to get this one it's worth the money it's really expensive but it's worth the money in my opinion so now one thing about my skin is that even though i have a skin tone <laughs> Everybody has a skin tone. It matches my skin. It doesn't match all over. I always have issues with my forehead and like the outer perimeter of my face being a lot darker than the rest of my skin. And I've been using this Ofra Absolute Cover Silk Peptide Foundation in the color number eight. And I think I've talked about this before, but it is one of my favorites for the month just because it goes on really silky and I like that. Um, I don't know what Silk Peptide means. Sounds like it's good for your skin though thinking about getting my actual color in that foundation this was sent to me so they sent me the wrong color thank you anyways because I love it I'm gonna try another one this is the Jouer I believe it's Jouer Jouer anti-blemish mattifying primer one I love the packaging because it's very pretty and two it is a mattifying primer that contains salicylic acid which means that it's going to fight acne of course it doesn't prevent acne but it helps to fight it while you're wearing your makeup so I really do like this uh, this is the benefit their real mascara and this is in beyond blue I love blue mascaras like in high school and in college blue mascara was bay I love that this is so bright because one thing I've always experienced with blue mascaras is that they don't show up um, when you put them on they just it looks kind of black and then when you go outside it's like oh okay it's blue but I want it to be blue like electric the only other mascara that i've ever tried that had that same electricity is um i think i believe dior show mascara in blue but this benefit one is really great and i love benefit of course um so i was definitely eager to try it i really really like this one this is the nyx intense butter gloss in the color berry strudel i got so many compliments when i wore this because it's so bright and vivid and one thing i really 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 like about it is the fact that it is a true purple it's a blue toned purple so it's not pink and i don't like pink purples i'm not a fan of pink purples intense butter glosses are really good because they're so pigmented for lip gloss i feel like most lip glosses they're really sheer but this one is like it's like a lip stain but with a glossy texture so I really like intense butter glasses by NYX. They are rocking my world. I recently got a new beauty blender and I already used it today. That's why it looks dirty, of course. But this is the Black Beauty Blender Pro. And I like this one as opposed to the Pink Beauty Blender because I feel like it does a better job. I don't know why. I feel like it's more sturdy and it's more dense. I don't know I just I feel like it doesn't soak up as much product it's a lot more bouncy it's bigger so you can cover more surface I feel like this one's will be more durable I broke my pink one which is why I got a new one because I, I tore it when I was trying to clean it I feel like I really am going to like this one more well I have been liking it more that's why it's in my favorites hmm. this is the obsessive compulsive cosmetics OCC um, they have nail polishes if you guys didn't know they don't just have lip tars so I wanted to try this one because I've really been into nude nails like I just wear nude nails all the time now and this is the color John Doe Looks like that it is a very pretty color I don't have it on my nails right now but I tried to find something similar um, but that's definitely not similar but anyways this is a skincare product and I'm gonna make a video a separate video talking all about my current skincare routine because my skin is doing a lot better and a lot of people have noticed so shout out to you for noticing that my skin is getting better one of the things that i can say has been lightening up my acne scars is this whitening mask from mario badescu it is a white 
mask. I don't know if it'll lighten your whole face, but I don't use it on my whole face. I only use it on the areas where I do have a lot of scarring um, and I leave it on and then I wash it off. I love the smell of it. It smells really good, but it's kind of weird. It's good for all skin types. Mario Badescu has really great products and I will be talking more about some of the other products that I picked up from Mario Badescu um, at Ulta. I don't usually talk about clothing favorites, but I figured that I would go ahead and mention some of my favorite clothing items that I've been wearing this month. I literally wear the same things all the time. Like I wear the same clothes every day. So I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I've really been like feeling lately. I got this skirt from uh, The Line by Kay. And if you guys do not know, my favorite blogger, Kyla Daris, she came out with her own clothing line called The Line by Kay. Now her stuff is a little bit expensive, but it is because she is a one woman business. She doesn't have a team of people helping her. She doesn't have any employees, any staff. She's doing this all by her lonesome, okay? So I understand that you know, she put a lot of hard work into the pieces that she created, sourcing and getting fabric and all that stuff. I mean, I know that takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. So I really commend her for that. So I went ahead and bought one of her items and this is her skirt. It's got these drawstrings on the side and you guys may have seen in this picture right here where I was wearing it. I love this skirt. It's so stretchy and it hugs all your curves little bitty curves that I do have it is very versatile you can like make it t longer or shorter however you want it to look and it fits me really well most stuff does not fit me okay because I'm small but this is an extra small and it is very tight supporting bloggers is really important to me I love supporting people who I believe are doing something really cool and innovative and if they put a lot of hard work and effort into what they're doing I really want to support so I got this skirt and I'm probably gonna get the white one because I love it that much when I went to New York I didn't have any sneakers with me because I'm a lame person and thought that I could just go around walking in sandals. Heh, <laughs> nah, my ankles were mad at me. So I went and bought these and these are the Nike free uh, 5.0 barefoot ride. I don't know, but they are like a running shoe in this super bright hot lava color. I'm kind of mad that I got these because I wanted the Hirachis, the Nike Hirachis. I'm, I'm not a sneakerhead, but I like sneakers because my brother is a sneakerhead. He literally buys and sells sneakers out of his room. So I know everything about sneakers. I just really don't wear a lot of them. I think I'm getting back into my tomboy phase. Love these sneakers because they literally like, look how flexible they are. Like, And I can wear these all day and my feet won't hurt. And I have flat feet. So for me to say that is a lot. I love these shoes. I love the color of them. Um, they got me through my whole trip in New York and they are very lightweight, very flexible. They're not hot, they're not heavy. I love these shoes. Grocery favorite. Let's talk about it. This is peanut butter and it's called Home Plate Peanut Butter. My friend Brandy put me onto this. She knows the people that make this peanut butter in Texas and I decided to get it because it's all natural. It doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup, doesn't have any hydro oils in it, which is really good for you because a lot of peanut butters do have unnecessary amounts of sugar um, and preservatives and things like that. I'm trying to eat healthier, like I said. Um, and this is just really good peanut butter. Like I don't think I've ever had good peanut butter like this and I've never been a peanut butter fan but now I'm addicted to it like I can eat this by the spoonful <laughs> my camera cut off and I don't remember what I was saying I'm sorry guys I was talking about the peanut butter was I talking about the peanut butter I don't know but I like this peanut butter <laughs> if you guys want to try it they have a package on Amazon but I order it through the email that she gave me and I know that's kind of like drug dealer-ish but I promise you guys they're legit and the peanut butter is really good app of the month my favorite app of the month would have definitely have to be this connect Four app which is really weird because I don't really play games on my phone but I just like to play connect Four when I'm bored and it gets me through my plane rides um, I'm actually looking for a better one. This one's called Four in a Row. It looks like that. Um, but I think I want to get a different one. And I don't know, but I'm really good at Connect Four. And it's funny because I had never played Connect Four before. And then when we went to New York, my sister Lexis was like wanting to play Connect Four with me. And I was like, I don't know how to play, but I'll play you. It's so great because I've got so good at it so quickly. So um, I guess I'm just a fast learner. I decided to download it myself. YouTube of the month, my YouTuber of the month, would definitely have to be Good Mythical Morning. And if you guys do not watch Good Mythical Morning, you should. I learned about Good Mythical Morning from Raven's 
vlog. If you don't watch her vlogs, you should. She just started vlogging on her channel. And um, she talked about Good Mythical Morning and how she watches them every morning and things like that. You guys, I literally went through and watched pretty much all of the last season and I think the season before that I've watched all of their will it videos and I've watched all of their taste testing videos because when they're tasting like random stuff that you shouldn't eat it just so it's so hilarious to me if you guys watch good mythical morning let me know in the comments and let me know what your favorite episode is I don't know I actually don't have a favorite my favorite segment of their channel is the will it segment so you should go find that playlist i'll put the link up below to where you can watch it but um i don't know i really like their videos favorite show right now would definitely have to be nikita now, i usually don't watch tv i usually don't watch netflix but i when i get into a show and i like a show i watch it like nobody's business and i get so into it lexus put me on to nikita and it's basically a show about this girl she's like this asian looking chick she's an assassin for this branch of the government that nobody knows about called division and she's like fighting against them because they killed her fiance i'm on season two right now and there's four seasons so hopefully i make it through it really quick because i'm like anxious to know what happens but i have to like take breaks and stop watching it because I'm the kind of person when I watch things I get really into them and I feel like I'm an assassin now so now when I go random normal places I want to drop kick people for no reason so it's probably not healthy but I really like it so you guys should check it out that's pretty much all I've been doing while I've been not making videos is watching Netflix so yeah that is pretty much all that I wanted to talk about in this video so I hope that you guys enjoyed it I hope that you guys aren't too mad at me for being gone for so long be staying tuned to my channel because I definitely have a lot of new videos that I have planned for you guys that I can't wait to record. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Of course, I'm going to talk about this hair really quick. This is a wig from Best Lace Wigs, of course. This is a custom unit that they made for me, but I ended up cutting it and layering it myself. Unfortunately, I didn't film it because I cannot cut hair on camera because when I do, I mess it up every time. But I cut it, I layered it, um, it was a little bit longer, it was like down here. So you guys should check out the description box, I'll have all the information in there for this wig. Um, on my lips is Tootsie by Colourpop and Afra's uh, Lip Stain in Sao Paulo. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, I love you, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one, okay? Bye! such an uncomfortable situation and you know that I'm trying and you know that I'm not happy and you know how people do that thing and they like make a double chin I can't do that because I don't have enough meat there oh guys guess what I learned how to hit the quan please watch yourself because I'm feeling myself throw a flag on the plate man somebody get the rough man somebody get some help pull up on the block get the quan